Hello and welcome to the Define YouTube channel. I am Rijesh Bhatia. In this video, we will be discussing about the RSI concept, the traditional way of RSI with the modern age and importantly, we will discuss few scanners which can definitely help you out your stock selection process. So starting with the uh, first, whenever the uh, whenever we study RSI or whenever you read about the RSI in the books, uh, the first line we read is uh, probably it's the strength of the uh, trend. Okay, so RSI is basically what the strength of the moment or the momentum or the strength where the it's been trending on the bullish side, bearish side or sideways. Second we read about is the overbought and oversold zone. So traditionally when the theory was written, it is said that 70 is overbought, 30 is oversold. But the theory is written over a hundred years ago. Still it works now. Do you have the answer? If you have the answer, write into the comment. I'll be uh, waiting for it. But as per ex my experience of around 20 years, I think RSI theory of overbought and oversold zone has been uh, probably obsolete over year. The success ratio has gone down. Probably one out of ten, uh, the theory may have worked. But if you use that theory into the uh, sectoral breadth, it still works. So we are using the traditional theory with the modernist uh, strategies. Okay. So I'll go detail into it, how you can use it and how you can identify it when we move on to the scanner section in the second half of the video. But uh, the 70-30 ratio, if I just look at the Nifty, even the Nifty index. Okay. So let me go on to the Nifty chart and let me uh, show you interesting stocks over here. Okay. So let me show you when the RSI was about 70. This is 2024. I'm not going much back as well. This is 2024 when the RSI has moved about 70 from 69 on 2nd of July 2024 to around 71.93 on 3rd of July. When the prices were around 24,286. Let's say 24,300. Okay. RSI was still onto the positive and prices have gone to around 24,837. So for a trader, 500 points I think is a slightly bigger number even if you are trading index, uh, futures or options, whatever. Okay. Not only that, prices have slightly retraced and look at the new highs of 26,000. Okay. So there is... Uh, I would say not necessarily given the prices, it's around 70. There could be a, a big moment of so some may debate that uh, 24,800 price to wapas 23,960. But look at the upside as well. Okay. Look at the momentum on the upside as well. Okay. We have seen a bigger up. Okay. You can tweak this theory and I'll show you how effectively you can trade this theory. Okay. So overbought at 70, oversold at 30. We all know that. But if you combine this with the range shifts, this works amazing. How? Okay. So let me let me take a couple of trends over here. Okay. So if I just I am taking this trend whole right from around this is what uh, 2020. I am not looking at 2020 bottom. So wahan to sab bolenge ki yaar bottom ban hindsight But look at this process and look at this theory. Okay. Prices have gone right. The hole with higher and higher structure. Okay, simple Dow theory. There was one day there was a low theory. I don't want to go into the reason using kya hua tha and kya nahi. Okay, we all know. But if you look at the structure hole, when the RSI has first entered 70, okay, so I'm just taking this RSI has first entered into the 70 on 29-11-2023 when RSI is 70.32. Okay, after that, whenever RSI tests around 40 to 50, I'm not saying below 40, I'm taking 40 to 50 or probably 50 60 range. Okay, you can just look at Nifty may it whenever it tests around 40 50 now, it gives you an amazing opportunity for longs. Look at this here. Okay, so blue line is basically RSI and red line is average of 9. So 14 period RSI, blue line 9 average. Look at RSI testing, look at this momentum. Okay. RSI testing over here, up to momentum. RSI testing over here, the RSI low was around 41. Look at this momentum. It went slightly below 40 over here at around 38. Look at this bullish momentum. When the RSI moves, simultaneously with the RSI test lower 30, look at this zone. So let me highlight over here. Now let me take this picture. They take this zone over here. When the prices started falling downwards, okay, I'm not taking the top. Probably you might get a trap. Look at this. This was the first time an RSI test 30, 30.05. Okay. Uh, 
or if you look at over here even this time it was around 32 so nearly over okay, 28.6 months so rsi has gone below oversold zone when the prices move into the oversold zone 50 to 60 on to the nifty range has been a short opportunity so if you look at the structure over here rsi 50 to 60 lower highs look for short opportunity again short opportunity over here again short opportunity over here now prices have still not formed higher highs over here but rsi has gone above 70 okay so if you go look at the rsi over here 71.65 now i am not looking for short opportunities even though prices have gone downwards okay but i am not looking at short opportunities till Again, the price test around 30 and mouse back. In fact, this day RSA test around 45, 33, it went to around 33.69. It didn't go to 30. Way back again, RSI above 70. Now 40, 50 is my opportunity. Okay, over here, RSI tested around 53 opportunity, 50 opportunity. Okay, you can look at these when the higher halo structure with RSA sinks out. It gives you an amazing setups. You can check on any stock. This theory works, which is called, which I term it as range shift happening onto the RSI. Okay. Second theory, which I generally follow is the divergence. Okay. Range shift we saw. Okay, I have one show you interesting setups onto the uh, range shift on IDFC first. So let me show you. Okay. IDFC first, many may differ. Okay. Stock chalta hai nahi hai, kuch nahi. Okay. But look at the same theory over here. Let me show you. Okay. Look at this call and if you if you look at the weekly chart okay let, let me look, stick on to the daily so i am taking right from around 2022 look at this zone lower high lower low structure rsi 50 60 zone short opportunities this was the first time when rsi crossed 70 prices are from higher high higher low look at this dip opportunity dip opportunity again oversold zone now my Bullish range shift has been now moved to bearish range shift. I will look for a short opportunities on rice. Look at this. Rice 50-60, 50-60, 50-60, 50-60, 50-60 has been bearish. Every 50-60 zone has been bearish. There is no, after the top, it was in 2023, there was no signal of RSA trending above 70. Which means my trend has changed. No. Every opportunity has been rice. 50-60 has been a short opportunity. This was the first time, but right after 2023, September 2023, this was the first time where RSI got, which was April 2025, RSI is more over 70, which means the trend has changed now. Every dip, buying opportunity. Look at this range shift happening. Amazing setups, amazing strategies. Will it works superbly? Only thing you have to uh, keep on mark is the timing, the trend based on your price action uh, strategy even if you are using candlesticks now candlesticks will give you a bearish setup over here if you look at if i just zoom out over here uh, we got bearish dark cloud engulfing whatever set up you it will give you an amazing trends over here okay but how you can find out these uh, trends so if you are using r zone okay and if we go to r zone indicator digger look at the rsi okay now let me take nifty 50 group i'm taking nifty 50 and keeping a default 14 and 9 and i'm click on the scan now you look at okay there is an last close price rsi level okay look at the rsi level which has gone below 30 no stocks below 30 okay look at the rsi average trend over here so negative negative positive positive fresh crossover whatever even you can look at the rsi trend based on the value entered above 50 below 50 left okay if you look at the rsi and rsi average rsi and average trends it will give you a positive and negative another way to look at this nifty 50 rsi trend over here so if you look at rsi 15 stocks have been to the negative be it negative or negative crossover okay a fresh crossover and the another second is positive or positive crossover if i look at this negative and negative crossover around 15 stock out of 50 has been into the bearish structure which means 30 percent stock of nifty 50 are into the rsi negative 70 percent stock are into the rsi positive now you know a positive may trade chal raha hai market is in trending into the positive zone dip can be an opportunity over here. when the structure change you can again look for okay based on rsi okay believe me you catching the tops catching the bottoms is slightly difficult 
you, there is a reason you can there is a way you can look at where i'll explain you where the things are changing on bottoming and topping structure okay but based on this rsi trend you can definitely look for a range shift happening uh, the uh, rsi trend happening over here okay another theory which generally people use is a divergence so if i just show one uh, image there are four types of divergences positive is where the price make new low rsi doesn't make the new low okay higher lows negative divergence is when prices make new highs okay higher high rsi doesn't make the higher high positive hidden divergence is prices make higher low rsi makes lower low similarly negative hidden divergence is when prices make lower high and rsi makes higher high okay so this is simple concept which has been followed on the rsi divergences but we have around 2000 2500 3000 stocks uh, into the uh, nsc and bsc how you can scan this positive and negative divergence okay so if you are using r zone there is a smart scanner available okay on the divergence scanner select the indicator as rsi i'm looking at the rsi simple 149 i'm not taking any new and let me scan on to the nifty 50 so there is a positive there is negative there is bullish hidden bearish uh, hidden so if i just go on to the negative and if i click on this scan there are four stocks where there is a negative uh, divergence happening hero moto infosys reliance and techm so if i just go on to the hero moto okay so prices have hit 4454 prices have hit 4486 At 4454, the RSI was 75. At 4486, the RSI is 63. So there is a clear negative divergence. Okay, because prices have hit higher high, RSI is hit have hit the lower high. Okay, this is a structure you can look at based on the divergences. Okay, so here what we are doing using the traditional theories, mixing it with the scanner to find out what kind of stocks are available. Okay, another concept uh, is. Uh, where you can look at the breadth on the RSI. So if you are using R zone, okay, go on to the breadth scanner, select OHLC over here, select RSI. So you can use any theory. So there are condition options: RSI above the average line, RSI above below the average line, RSI value if you want overbought and oversold zone, if you want entering overbought oversold zone. Okay, okay, RSI is rising for n period, which means you want for five period, five uh, days, six, five weeks, five hours. it will give you anything okay rsi cutting upward which means fresh crossover happening over here so let let me take rsi uh, above the average line okay i am just taking the rsi above the average which means rsi is consistently trading above its uh, rsi so not the fresh crossover but it is above the uh, average line and i'll select i'll select the uh, nsc sectors so we, as we are trading checking the breadth breadth can be checked only on sectors not on stocks right and i am just looking at the scan okay so if you look at the auto bank cpsc 73% breadth value which means 73% stock of nifty constituents are having rsi above the average line banks 50% of the banks nifty uh, or the uh, nifty bank or bank nifty have rsi with the positive crossover now which stocks have positive crossover let's look at that okay so let's look at the uh, nifty bank over here again i'll go to the indicator trigger rsi over here i'll select bank index and i'll click on this scan so for now if you look at okay so here are 12 stocks into the components if you look at six with negative negative fresh crossover what we saw 50% of the breadth here it is 50% breadth nifty out of 12 stocks six are positive six are negative so that's 50% breadth so which means when the breadth is 15% on the rsi uh, there is a mix and match there is a war happening on the uh, constituents of nifty okay when the breadth is we saw auto index breadth so if i just go auto index was somewhere around 73% let me go to the auto index let me scan so we have around 15 stocks out of 15 9 are positive so if you divide 9 by 15 so it's around 73% right four are negative so you know auto stocks means something is happening okay something is positive over there and you can focus on auto stocks okay then you can look at the rsi jisme positive cross over aaya fresh cross over kisme aaya bajaj auto mein aaya mnm mein aaya pvs mein aaya then you can look at these kind of stocks mix up with the first step is you check the breadth of the sector second step is you check the rsi level of the stocks third if you are using quant and figure you can use the dtb triple top buy quadruple buy catapult buy 
bullish any bullish setup over there if you are using akenashi look for a strong bullish candle happening over there if you are using ohlc chart look for the bullish uh, patterns happening over there candlesticks if there is a bullish candle happening over there on the uh, breakouts you can use it kagi if you are using you shoulder bullish shoulder, shoulder breakout or uh, momentum on the positive side whatever chart pattern you are using you can use mix up with any top down approach over here i am just looking at the rsi based trend rsi based uh, level trend on the stocks and then looking for a uh, affordable stop losses based on the patterns on the chart types whatever you are using and this is the way you can definitely look for a bullish setups based on the rsi so i guess this is a slightly longer video of around uh, 18 20 minutes but just to sum up over here uh, what we have discussed over here traditional way of 70 30 how you can use it okay uh, another level one thing which i forgot to highlight over here okay let me go to this breadth sector breadth scanner again and i if i go on to the ohlc again based on select rsi okay now i will looking at rsi in the oversold run okay and click on select rsi sector nsi sectors okay so there are some setups which you can uh, add on to this and one thing if you can check breath on when the rsi into the overbought zone oversold zone more number stock in the overbought zone which is slightly uh, riskier for sector as well because most of the stocks have above overbought there could be a possibility of retracement happening or reversal happening generally when rsi is above 70 on the most of the stock there could be a possibility of retracement happening and you can keep a watch on this okay so these are the things we discussed based on uh, uh, scanners based on divergence 70 30 ratios uh, how you can use indicator digger how you can use check the breadth based on rsi and look the top down approach based selecting on to the stocks okay uh, so i guess uh, this is a new way where you are looking at the uh, rsi based strategies do write into the comment these rsi based strategies is helping you out or not and you can just uh, tell us the feedback where we have discussed rsi into the detail with scanners signing off bridget